What a surprise. President Donald Trump signed the $600 second stimulus check package. We now officially have a fully approved and signed second stimulus package that we've been waiting for since April pretty much. This is crazy and no one was expecting this U-turn from the president after everything he said and all of his demands. So let's talk about what happened exactly, what Republicans are saying, the reaction from Democrats now and their new demands after the stimulus package, especially what's going to happen to the $2,000 stimulus checks and the huge implication this has on the Georgia Senate runoff elections. And I'll also refresh your memory about the qualifications to get the second stimulus check in terms of income, dependence, social security, child support, and all of that good stuff. Plus, when will the checks arrive in your account? I've been waiting months to finally make this video, so all I ask is to please hit the like button on the video and maybe let me know what you plan to use this money on in the comments below. Thank you. President Trump finally signed the $900 billion stimulus package into law last night after calling it a disgrace and demanding $2,000 stimulus checks and for Congress to trim down the fat in the bill. In a statement last night, he said, I will sign the omnibus and relief package with a strong message that makes clear to Congress that wasteful items need to be removed. I will send back to Congress a red line version item by item accompanied by the formal rescission request to Congress insisting that those funds be removed from the bill. I am signing this bill to restore unemployment benefits, stop evictions, provide rental assistance, add money for PPP, return our airline workers back to work, add substantially more money for vaccine distribution and much more. I will never give up my fight for the American people. The problem here though, unfortunately, even if he genuinely wanted $2,000 checks for the American people or not, which I'm not doubting, whichever way, whatever, but the way that this happened will not look good for him. Everyone in Congress and in the media will just remember him for delaying the stimulus package and all this help for one week. You already have the House Ways and Means Committee Chair Richard Neal saying the president's pointless delay in approving the relief legislation cost millions of Americans a week's worth of pandemic-related unemployment assistance that they desperately need. His stalling only intensified anxiety and hardship for workers and families who are collateral damage in his political games. Now people will need to wait even longer for direct payments and other vital assistance to arrive. On the other hand, after a week of silence from Mitch McConnell, he released a statement saying, I applaud the president's decision to get billions of dollars of crucial relief out the door and into the hands of American families as quickly as possible. I am glad the American people will receive the much needed assistance as our nation continues battling this pandemic. His leadership has prevented a government shutdown at a time when our nation could not have afforded one. I don't know about the quickly as possible part here, but anyway, the interesting thing now is Democrats are not letting the $2,000 checks go, of course. Nancy Pelosi said on Twitter, the president must immediately call on congressional Republicans to end their obstruction and to join him and Democrats in support of our standalone legislation to increase direct payment checks to $2,000 which will be brought to the floor tomorrow, which is today. The legislation signed tonight is a down payment on what is needed to crush the virus, put money in Americans' pockets, and honor our heroes. We must quickly take further action to help Americans struggling to stay afloat during this historic pandemic and economic crisis. So the Democrats in the House will still vote on the $2,000 stimulus checks today, and we can easily expect it to pass along party lines. But as always, this bill will go to die in the Senate. And I'm not sure how Republicans will feel about this going into the Georgia Senate runoff elections. President Trump may have just cost Republicans the Senate. Because I'd imagine all the Democrats have to say to the people, make sure you turn the Senate to the Democrats and the first thing we'll pick up and pass is this $2,000 check legislation. This is just my guess, but we'll see what happens next week. I mean, the elections are January 5th. We'll see what happens. All right, let's talk about the rules of the stimulus check. If you're single and make $75,000 or less, or you're married and make $150,000 or less, you'll receive the full check, $600 if you're single and $1,200 if you are married. Dependents under 17 will also receive $600. Adult dependents and college students get screwed again, unfortunately. If you're on Social Security, SSDI, SSI, or VA benefits, you will also receive the 600 stimulus check, just like you received it the first time. There will be no garnishments, so if you have federal, state, or bank debt, 
you still will get your money. And this time, even if you owe child support, you will receive your stimulus check. It will not be garnished. This is as far as I know from what I read in the bill and according to other sources as well. So take that as is and hopefully it's true and you receive your full stimulus check. In terms of timing, when the bill passed last week, Steve Mnuchin said we can expect the payment to go out starting the week of the 28th, which is today. This is not happening because of the delay. So the earliest I can expect the payments to go out will be Monday the 4th of January. But based on the payments from the last time, the first stimulus checks, deposits seem to regularly happen on Wednesdays. So you'll probably start seeing people getting their money on January 6th. So it finally happened. The second stimulus package and second stimulus check are officially official now. And if you want to stretch your check by an extra $200, Consider opening a Chase Freedom credit card. It has zero annual fee. You'll get $200 cash back when you spend $500 in the first three months from when you open the card. You'll also get 5% cash back on up to $12,000 that you spend at grocery stores in the first year, and you'll get 15 months of 0% interest. So if you're planning to use your stimulus check to buy groceries or other things and see yourself spending $500 in the next three months, you'll get $200 bonus cash back from one of these two Chase Freedom cards. I'll link below. Not a bad deal. Take a look at it and see if it's something that fits you. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate you all. Please hit the like button on the video, share this video with your friends and family, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and click the notifications bell to be notified whenever I publish new videos and new content for you. Also, make sure to check the link in the description for the Yara savings account. It's a savings account that is FDIC insured, but gives you interest with a lottery system. If you use the link below, you'll get 100 tickets when you deposit as little as 20 $25 for a chance to win up to $10 million. Then you'll get a weekly ticket for every $25 that you deposit. I think this is the future of banking as it encourages savings to earn more chances at winning a large prize. Also, don't forget to get your free stocks from Webull potentially worth up to $1,600 when you deposit only $100, which is just like cash. You can take it out anytime you feel like it. All the links are in the description below. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.